Hi guys, welcome to another episode series on our Well Zone TV program. I'm Anais and I am a marine biologist. Today's topic is going to focus on the parasites on whales and dolphins. So whales and dolphins have parasites, the same as us. They can be either internal or external um, found on the skin of the whale or the dolphin. Today we're going to mainly be focusing on the external parasites. These external parasites are also called ectoparasites. So there's different types of ectoparasites, but there is uh, what we know as the whale lice, diatoms, which is a sort of algae, and also barnacles that are usually attached on the skin of large cetaceans and dolphins. Many baleen whales have a thin yellow-green film of diatoms, which is a polar algae that is parasitic. For example, the strain coconis is found on the blue whale, on their skin. This is acquired during summer when foraging in polar waters. This also affects some types of killer whales living in Antarctica. Another form of parasite is the Siamede amphipod, which is a crustacean or commonly known as whale lice. These whale lice are particularly found in large cetaceans, such as the humpback whale, the gray whale, and the southern right whales. There are anatomical and physiological explanations for the occurrence of whale lice on the surface of cetaceans. Whale lice require a shelter where they will not be swept off the surface of the whale's skin. Siamids or whale lice aggregate in areas of reduced water flow, such as the deep longitudinal grooves, the ridges that cover the throat, the chest, for example, of the whale, the rostrum, the margins of the lips, and the genital slits of the whale. Another type of parasite are barnacles. Barnacles are crustaceans that are covered by two shells. They usually attach on the skin of the whale because they need to use the skin of the whale as substratum. There are three main types of barnacles that are found on the surfaces of slow-moving whales. One, the mound-shaped acorn barnacle, or also the stocked or shipped barnacle, and third one, the pseudo-stocked barnacle. These are all external parasites that do not seem to cause infection or inflammations on the whales. This is why uh, we might consider these parasites as semi-parasitic. There's also the species of Penella, actually considered the only real parasite that is visible on cetaceans, since it can be an important indicator of the animal's health. They are found mainly on fin whales and also found buried in the semi-tegument of dolphins. In high cases of infestations, they are considered dangerous to dolphins' immune systems since they can penetrate the blubber, which is the layer of fat that protects dolphins and whales. We don't really know if these parasites truly affect whales and dolphins. There's still a lot of information that is lacking regarding this subject. So um, that was it for this episode. I hope this clarified a little bit more about the different parasites that can be found in whales and dolphins. Please, if you're curious on other subjects about whales and dolphins, just don't forget to subscribe on our links below and have all the different videos. Thank you guys. Bye.